What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all having a good evening. This should be pretty interesting. But you treat 100% of men that way just for inviting you to their crib? But we the problem? But, but we the problem. Fuck out of here, man. I mean, just what they think and what they believe in does not reflect reality. You know what I mean? Like, so those type of thoughts never really lead to relationship success. So now the next thing that I wanted to uh, transition to was the post about uh, should a woman consult her man before making a hairstyle change. And whenever we, whenever this comes up too, we see a not, we see a lot of illogical comments. Uh, we see a lot of illogical, a lot of myths that women have about men. He's supposed to like how I, how I look, no matter what, because he cares about me. That's a very foolish thought. That does not reflect reality. We know that men are visual creatures. We know that that's what gets a man's attention. And so if a man is already attracted to you and in a relationship with you and you do something drastic that changes that, it's going to impact your relationship. He may be able to ignore it. He may be able to overlook it, but he can't change what he's attracted to. And if he's not attracted to you, it is going to matter. Especially if you are in a serious relationship. Because... That's the, the, the way that I, I like to explain it is physical, physical attraction when it comes to uh, building a man's connection with the woman. That, that's like the base level, right? A man that is physically attracted to a woman is willing to, to deal with, to make sacrifices in, in other areas. But the more attracted he is to her. We know that physical attraction plays a major part into men being attracted to women. Right. And so if you eliminate that from it, like, yes, if he's a physically attracted to you and y'all get along and y'all like the sex and y'all are compatible in this way, then y'all are progressing towards something. But you can't start building a staircase and then snatch out the bottom step and think that the staircase is going to still be straight and still be safe and still be intact. Physical attraction is, is, is one of the fundamental things that attracts a man to his woman that's i've stated before that when a man is deciding on who to approach that's the the fundamental decision making thing who is who gets his attention who does he who does he like that is showing interest in him that is on his level now he may be smart enough to realize he can't go holler at the baddest chick in the club he may realize that she's out of his league. He don't have a shot with her. So it's a combination of what gets their attention and what they have a realistic chance of pulling, right? Based off their past history, based off their pecking order among other men. But physical attraction weighs up there very, very high, right? And since men don't, don't date the way that women do, they don't date hoping and, and wishing that it turns into a relationship. If y'all just get to go out a couple of times and he end up fucking or getting some head, that's a win. Like, men men are not upset with that. Fling, however, whatever you want to call it. He's good with that. It went from being strangers, it progressed to, we talked a couple of times, we went out a couple of times, and we did something romantic. He's good with that. He's not hurt, he's not upset, he's not nothing over that. That's that's how things are operate for, for most men. And so you ha you can't take away a man's physical attraction, right? And so when you the women that are saying that they wouldn't even discuss it like fuck what do you think? Fuck it, I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. Those are not those those will not be the women that are going to be in long-term happy healthy relationships. You can't have a I don't give a fuck attitude about the person you the person's feelings that you say you want to build a life with. How can you how can you put
put those two things together. I want to build a life with you where we share everything important. We have our kids. We put our DNA together to have kids. We put our finances together to, to provide resources and make sure we... But I don't give a fuck what you think about nothing else. Does that does that sound like it's going to be a healthy, functional relationship? No. Let me put up a post about a man telling a woman his woman he don't give a fuck about what she think or feel. See how see how see how hard y'all go on this man. How quick y'all tell this woman that she needs to leave him. How ain't shit he is. How he's just a fuck boy. But we see women instantly instantly jump to that conclusion. I don't give a fuck. I, I'm gonna do it. It's my hair. I'm gonna do what I want to do, etc. But those same women will be mad when they man's double tapping the screen on a, with a chick that got the fucking hair that he like. She's insecure now because he's liking pictures of, of chicks with weave and, and shit that he likes. And she didn't cut her shit off not giving a fuck what he thinks. That's the type of shit that they do, right? They, they make a drastic change, completely change the dynamics of their relationship. Expect him to, to 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 just deal with it and stay the same and dick get just as hard. That, it don't work like that, man. Yeah, he can try to visualize you back when you had looked the way that he liked, but that's not reality, man. That's not that's not going to last for very long. And what's what's really going to happen is he's going to start paying more attention to the women that look like he's attracted to. And if that's not you, it's going to create a problem. It's going to create a problem. You going to have a problem with your man not giving you that the the attention he once gave you. It don't mean he love you any less. It means he's not attracted to your ass. And it's your fault. If now, now there's a difference between people na aging naturally, something ha un uncontrollable happening, a, a sickness, an accident. That's not the same thing as willingly doing something that changed that. Or and, and the worst case scenario is where you don't like that man. That's really not a turn on to me, man. It's really it. You know what I'm saying? Like he he expressed to you how 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 much of a turn off that is to him, and you say, ah, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. How's he supposed to feel about that? How how is a man supposed to feel about the woman that don't want him fucking nobody else, don't want him giving no other woman attention? Don't want him doing anything with another woman. Telling him, I don't give a fuck if you you attracted to it or not. You gonna have to take. You gonna have to deal with it because I said so. Type shit. He's supposed to just, yes, babe, you're right. He's he's just supposed to to fucking deal with that. No. But combine that. Now combine that man that's in that situation. Things were all good. I'm with my wife. We, 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 everything is straight. And now she's somebody that I'm not even attracted to. I don't really want to be seen with her in public because I don't like that shit. I don't like her. Like his body language around her is different. But when you combine that with the things that I say about why men cheat instead of leave. So is he just supposed to say, man, I, I, I don't even like looking at you no more. I'm fucking leaving you and the kids. No, because that'd be shallow as fuck. That would be shallow as fuck, right? If, if 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 a man left his wife just because she cut her hair, we'd all say that's shallow as fuck. So what's he gonna do is he's going to stay there for his family. He's gonna try to be a real man. He's gonna try to deal with it. And eventually he he'll probably end up fucking a chick with the hair that he likes on the side. That's what will, will likely happen. Because he's dealing with the conflict where he don't want to just leave over some hair, over something just, it's just hair, hair grows back. Like you see all the little instances, but so he's supposed to just be unable to, to, to be physically intimate with somebody he's attracted to until she decides she's going to grow her shit back. What if she never do? You know what I mean? Like, so 
that's why it's seen as being so inconsiderate from his perspective. So, yeah, it's her right to do. It's your hair. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. But that don't mean that's a smart decision. It don't mean that that's the best move for you and your family. That don't mean that it's not going to change the things that the, uh, the relationship that you have. I tell y'all all the time, people, what happens in a relationship is based off what they experience with you. If your man is not looking forward to seeing you, that is a problem. He stopped asking you for selfies. He stopped, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, that's really significant, whether you think it is or not. Your man not being looking forward to seeing your, your picture on his phone, that's a significant thing to a man. I, I can assure you it is. Because I look, I'm excited when I see my wife on my timeline because she look how I fucking like. You know what I'm saying? Like she likes, she looks how I like. Now that don't mean, that's not to say that there aren't attractive women with short hair because I actually like short hair. You know what I'm saying? But it's not for everybody. The percentage of women that I like like that is very small. You know what I mean? So that that's a reality. Yeah, you can do whatever you want to do. You can get a tattoo on your face. You can do you can do a whole bunch of things. That don't mean that it's a smart move. It don't mean that it's not it, it, and that doesn't mean it's not going to have an impact on your relationship. So I mean when you're single, you can do whatever you want to do. You can you can look how you want to look. Even in a relationship, you have the right to do whatever you want with your hair. But if your goal is to to build with somebody long term where you want to keep everything intact, making drastic changes is not usually the way to go. It's usually not the way to go. Fuck that nigga. See? Yeah. I mean, you have a right to feel that way. But if 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 the roles re was reversed, y'all y'all would not feel the same way. Y'all y'all definitely take the woman's side or y'all be telling her why she need to let him leave or, 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 or kick him to the curb. Y'all y'all real hypocritical on stuff like this. But whenever it's a man having a problem with, with something about a woman, it's always fuck him. He can move on. He, he ain't shit. But just he was obviously enough for you to be your man. You know what I mean? Like he obviously had the credentials to, to be with you. He obviously had the credentials for you to be fucking him on a regular basis. But now his opinion, because he doesn't like something, that erases everything that he's ever done for you all the time that he's put in, all the love that he's shown you, apparently. Y'all but that's not shallow, right? Dismissing the man that was there for you because he don't like your hair, that's not shallow. Him not liking the hair is only shallow. See how fucking hypocritical that is? See, just just think about that. He ain't shit because he don't like something. But you, it, the woman ain't shit because she don't give a fuck about how her man feel. He's the only shallow one. He's the only one that's shallow because he don't just like anything. Like women just like every fucking thing about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's one of those hypocritical areas. The double standard where it's okay for y'all to criticize a man. For not liking something where it wouldn't be that way if the shoe was on the other foot. So, I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all are the ones that ultimately have to make these decisions. So, hopefully, y'all, y'all start thinking long term and stop making these short term decisions because you don't. I can't think of one benefit, one positive thing that a woman would get from eliminating her man's sexual attraction in this term. I can't think of one, I can't think of any way that that helps a relationship out. For you to remove the sexual attractiveness that your man has for you. But, if that's something that y'all want to do, or it don't matter to y'all, y'all are the ones that get to make all the, the decisions about your dating life. And y'all are the ones that have to deal with the consequences. <laughs>